I want to demonstrate a couple of changes to Mercado 7's validation tools, um, particularly since they uh, expand um, the ability to get information back um, related to errors structurally within records. So everybody should know that when you work with MarkEdit, um, let's say you choose a file that happens to have some bad records in it, and I happen to have one right here that I've been working with this afternoon. Run it tool will attempt to break it. It will attempt to use the loose breaking algorithm. It tried, it can't, so it gives you that error. And you get a note here saying there was a malformed process, blah, 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 and you'll notice that it now truncates the data. If you put your mouse over the top, it'll give you the whole piece of information. Click on the field, it gives you all of it, so you can select and copy that data. Okay, the other thing you'll notice in Mark Edit 7, there is a, a chat box here. That checkbox will open this record into the validator and run the validation. Um, right away, you'll see a couple of new things. So prior to Mark Edit 7, this would have just told you that there was a um, error in this record, and it would have printed the record number, the record list, and that would have been it. Um, now the tool is a little bit smarter. So in this case, it recognizes that it's a field length error. Tells you what field number its um, error is being um, generated on, what the field position number is within the directory, what the reported field length is from the directory, and what the actual field length is when the directory information is processed. It attempts to print the problem field data. Um, in this case, the reason it's not working is because it's parsing data that doesn't exist, um, and so uh, it's not printing anything out, or at least nothing that we can read. Um, and then it prints out the record below so that you can see um, what the mark record is that's causing the problem. If you wanted to see a little bit deeper, we could go to um, the uh, mark validator. Select view and hex header, and open the record, and this now opens the, the mark record in a hex editor. Um, so in our case, we knew which record it was. It was the last record in the list. We could skim down and look at the last record in the list. Um, but here you get a, a more complete uh, hex editor, and it includes a find. So you could actually search for data in the, the hex editor itself. Um, this can open records of any size. Basically, essentially, it creates a stream um, that will uh, process data. So um, we have our hex editor available to us. And then, just like um, in the previous uh, versions, if I wanted to remove that record, I could click on Remove Invalid Records, and it would sort away um, the one record that's causing the problem um, so that we could uh, continue working. Uh, the Hex Editor um, in Mark Edit now um, is available through um, either the uh, Mark Validator. So the Validator, we can find the Hex Editor here, um, or um, we can find it under help, troubleshooting op options, open the hex editor, or if you're a keyboard wonk, it is control shift and H, and that will open the hex editor up. And this is the first version of it. This replaces the mark spy tool. Um, it provides some enhanced functionality. Uh, I'll be continuing to uh, make a few changes to it prior to um, the, uh, the application going live in, uh, in late November. Um, so just a couple of changes to the way that um, you can troubleshoot errors when they come up.